Fucker, I left some water bottles in the fridge for us. For the last time, stop drinking out of the tap. And leave the soap where it is, dude. If they see that it's gone, they'll know we were the last people to use this room, and they'll know who took it. Hotel staff are much more competent at their jobs than people give them credit for. <sighs> I really hope Parker, Parker actually listens, listens this time. The last thing I need when we get home from this trip is to be thrown in jail because my roommate stole some soap from a hotel in a foreign country. Jeez. All week. Time really flew by. Tonight is our last night here. It's been such an awesome trip. Everything here was so different from the things back home. Although, I don't think I'll be complaining when we're back in weather that isn't perpetually logged in at boiling degrees Celsius. Otherwise known as really hot in Fahrenheit. Wait. If this is our last night here... Maybe this would be a good time to... This entire time I kept looking for an excuse to ask him out and spend some time together away from everyone else. And we don't have any activities planned for today since it's our last day here. Ah, no, I can't do it. I'm too nervous. I should just wait until tomorrow. Oh, right. I can't. If I don't do this now, then I won't get another chance to. Screw it, I'm asking him out. What do I type? Uh... Hey! No, wait, I shouldn't add an exclamation mark. That looks too energetic. But what do I put then? A comma? That looks too business-like. I guess an exclamation mark will have to do. Hey, I just realized this is our last day here before we head home. No, no wait, I shouldn't say I just realized. That makes me sound stupid. Ah. <sighs> Uh, but, but if, if I, I say, say today is our last day here, that makes it sound like I was counting down the time until we leave so that I could plan this. Um, since we're gonna be heading home tomorrow... I was wondering, since tonight is our last night here... Should I put some dots after wondering? Hey! I was wondering, since tonight is our last night here, do you maybe wanna... No, how about... Would you like to... Do you want to meet up at the beach? We could go for a walk together. Ah! I should, I should get, get rid of the together, together line. line. That makes it sound like we're already a couple. Hey, I was wondering. Since tonight is our last night here, do you want to meet up at the beach for a walk? Does that sound alright? I think that sounds alright. Hit send. What are you doing? But what if he thinks it's weird? Am I being too obvious? Maybe he already has plans with someone else. Should I just delete the message? Uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Send. Oh my god, I sent it. It's there now. What? He's typing back? Oh my god, he's already typing back? What if it's a yes? What if it's a no? What do I do? He agreed. <gasps> oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Okay! Exclamation mark. Should we wear our swimsuits too? Question mark. Sent. Why did I send that? That's such a weird thing to ask! I mean, is it? We're going to the beach after all. Uh, do I look thin? Am I muscly enough? Will I look scrawny compared to other guys at the beach? What if I'm too pale? He's okay, He's okay with wearing swimsuits? Okay, comma. Sounds great. Exclamation mark. Where and when do you want to meet up? Question mark. By the boardwalk in the early evening. Okay. See you then. Oh boy. This is happening. What do I do before then? That's in a couple of hours. Maybe I should get him something as a gift? Would that be too cheesy? Maybe, but I love seeing his face light up when he's happy. I'll see what they have at the local places. Maybe I'll look for some better looking swimsuits while I'm at it. Could I splash on some cologne? I should at least do my hair. But I don't want to look like I'm trying too hard to look impressive. 
but at the same time, would that look, like, really rude if it looked like I didn't even try to look good for this? Maybe he'll think I didn't care. I'll just style it a little, then head down to the shopping alley. There was that one place we passed by. Okay, there's the boardwalk. Is that him over there? Oh no. He clearly prepared for this and looks really cute. Crap, I'm gonna be blushing like crazy the entire time. How do I act natural? <sighs> Alright, just act like you're talking to anyone else. Be natural, and don't stare. Here we go. Hey! Yeah, sorry, I came here as quickly as I could. But I had a few things to take care of first. This bag I'm carrying? Eh, I brought a wallet, a towel, some sunscreen, and something else with me. It's not too terribly important, but I decided to come prepared, just in case. You look nice. I love what you've done with your hair, too. Very cute, if you can forgive my bluntness. So, you ready to walk? I wanted to try some of the food here. There's a stand with some skewers way on the far end. I saw it when our group went to the lighthouse on Monday. I wanted to buy some, but we had to stick with the tour guide. Whatever they were selling there smelled really good. Then that's where we'll go. Oh, <laughs> you noticed. Yeah, it's just a fragrance I picked up a few days ago. It's local here. You like it? Well, I have an extra bottle, actually, if you want some. It was pretty cheap, so it wouldn't be a massive loss or anything if I gave it to you. Are you sure? I don't mind, really. If you like it that much, then... Okay. The offer is still there if you ever change your mind. Actually, wait, speaking of scents, uh, can we stop at this candle stall for a second? Wow. So many different scents of candles. My sister back home loves burning candles in her room. I was thinking of getting her one as a souvenir. Can you let me know if you see any pomegranate scented ones? Those are her favorites. Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna go pay for this real quick. Be right back. Thank you. Okay, this, this is, is going, going well. well. Should I have said he looked nice? nice? Was, was that, that too obvious? obvious? But, but he really does look so cute. I had to say something. Is this a good time to bring up the gift? No. No, not yet. As much as I want to, I need to wait until the right moment. Okay, I'm back. Let's get going. So, how has the roommate situation been? You never really mentioned who you got paired up with. Oh really? You didn't get paired up with anyone? Well, I guess that makes sense. There's only a few guys including us on this trip. One of you was going to end up having a room to themselves. Well, I got paired up with Parker. He's obsessed with drinking tap water for some reason, which I've been trying to get him to stop doing since I've heard you're not supposed to drink tap water when you travel. And every now and then he keeps inviting Vince over to our place. They're up all night making noise. I can't get any sleep. Yeah, remember how sleep deprived I was on Wednesday when we went to see the monument? They were building a table or something at like 2 in the morning. It was just constant bang, bang, whap, bang, whap, whap all night long. I just assumed they were building a table. I don't know what they were actually doing. I never bothered asking them. Anyway, I think it's safe to say I don't want a room with either of them if we ever have another class trip like this. Hmm? Oh, uh, thank you. That would help a lot, actually. If they're acting up tonight, I could just pop down to your flat and spend the night there? Thanks, dude. I really appreciate that. But let's cross that bridge if we come to it. So, living situations aside, how do you feel about this trip? Do you enjoy it? Yeah, me too. It was pretty different from what I was expecting, but it was so cool to see the world through the lens of another culture. I don't really want to go back home just yet. Although, the one thing I'm glad about is that we'll be back in reasonable temperature soon enough. Oh, you're not looking forward to the flight back home? Eh, I don't actually mind airplane flights, but I can see why other people wouldn't be comfortable with them. 
Do you just not enjoy sitting on an airplane, or do you have a fear of flying? Hey, that's alright. There's no shame in admitting that. No, it's not stupid. Phobias are very much a real thing, and you can't help what scares you. A lot of people like to boast that nothing scares them, but that's total bull. Either they're lying, or they're just that naive to how dangerous the world really can be. Well, if you must know, I'm claustrophobic. Tight or enclosed spaces freak me out to the point I'll start to tear up from fear, not even joking. Talking to a person I have feelings for also makes me really nervous. My mind starts racing to try to think of witty or clever things to say, and my hands start shaking like crazy. Hmm? Why do you look so surprised? I seem confident to you? Like something like that wouldn't really get me nervous? <laughs> really? Well, it's true. Honestly, just hearing his voice or seeing a message on my phone from him is enough to get me blushing all over. It's such a schoolboy thing, but I can't help it. I try to hide it when we're together, but I don't know if I'm actually fooling anyone. Hmm? Do I have a crush? Well, yeah. I guess maybe there is this one boy. He's on the strip, actually. What about you? Any particular persons in your life? Yeah, I'm just curious. Like, obviously it's your personal privacy, but I can't help but be a little curious. There's one boy? How interesting. Does he know how you feel? Have you told him anything yet? Oh, not yet. <laughs> well, no need to rush it. Tell him whenever you feel you're ready to, but don't wait forever. The last thing you want is for someone else to come in and sweep him off his feet before you ever got a chance to say anything. Maybe I should take my own advice. Uh, actually, on the topic of the- Oh! There it is! Gordon Snack Shack! Uh, let's grab some food. Smooth. Real smooth. Was I seriously about to just straight up confess on a boardwalk? In broad daylight? <sighs> You're pushing it pretty far, genius. Maybe it'd be best to just act natural and give him some space for the rest of the date. That bench right there, the one facing the ocean? I think that'd be a good spot to sit and eat. Plus, we should be able to see the entire sunset from here. That bench looks kind of small. We'd basically, We'd basically be sitting, sitting right, right next, next to each, each other, other if we both... <sighs> Here, let's open up the takeout box. Whoa, these look really good. I don't even know what they call the stuff. Besides skewer, anyway. Here you go, these ones are yours. Mm. Oh, worth the wait, for sure. I'm gonna miss this trip. It was a lot of fun. But I'm glad we got to do this. Spend some time together away from everyone else. I meant to spend more time with you on this trip, but between the tours and Parker robbing me of sleep, I was never able to find a good moment to ask. Oh, I never asked you. How do you think I look? Yes, in the swimsuit, silly. I'm not used to wearing one, but I kinda like it. Does it suit me? Do you think other boys would find it... attractive? Was, Was that, that too, too far? far? God, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Oh, really? Thank you! That actually is incredibly relieving to hear. Oh, you? How do you look? Well... Crap, should I be honest? I don't want to lie, but if I tell the truth, I might sound kind of creepy. <sighs> Screw it, be honest. You look really good. 
I've had to stop myself from staring too much, actually, because you just look that striking. <laughs> no, it's not just because of the swimsuit. It certainly doesn't hurt, but even without it, you'd still look really attractive. W wait, that came out wrong. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. Hey, come on. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I got attacked by a leaf. Ah, oh, the wind blew into my face. Oh, and now it's attacking you. <laughs> no, 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 stop. You're gonna drop your skewer. Here, it's caught in your hair. Let me get it. Oh, I've never actually felt your hair before. It's really soft. There you go. Bye-bye, Leaf. Your hair feels really nice, though. Can I play with it for a bit? Thank you. I love it when my sister plays with my hair sometimes. I'll try to mimic what she does. A surprise for you. You were wondering what was in the bag I brought with me. Remember when we went on a tour down the shopping alley and you wanted that one little plushie? Well, here. This is for you. Yep, here you go. All yours. Whenever you see it, or whenever you hold it, just think of this trip and this moment. Remember the good times we had. The sunset, the nice vibes. Can you do that for me? <laughs> glad to hear it. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you like it. You, um, gonna eat that last skewer? Yay! Thanks. Should I, I do, do something? something? Given our current circumstances, I kind of want to lean on his shoulder. We're basically touching elbows as is. The sun is almost down. We should probably get going back to the hotel soon. Hmm? Just a little longer? Alright. I think I'd be okay with that. Wait, is he getting closer? I don't know if it's just my imagination, but his hand is pretty close to mine. Should I take it? I want to lean on him so bad. At least take his hand. Mind if I borrow your shoulder? Alright. This is nice. My shoulder's comfy. He took, he took my, my hand. hand. We are 100% holding hands right now. <sighs> Such a pretty sunset. I'll never forget this moment. You ready for the trip home tomorrow? Hmm? You're right. Let's not think about that. Let's just focus on the here and now.
the sunset. Thank you. This was nice. Let's get back then. We have a long day tomorrow.